Divine Masculine, okay? You know how we do it here. Situation, action, outcome. Let's see what's going on today in your energy. I'm just hearing that you are bossing up. You're starting to see yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing superpower strength. Have you ever looked in the mirror, Divine Masculine? Like, looked in the mirror and really put your hands on your, we call it the Superman pose. Like, when we're getting ready to do a meeting or interview or whatever. It really, truly works. You put your hands on your hip like you're, you got superpowers and you just stand there and you go, mm, yeah. Because there's a difference between confidence and ego. This is a confidence booster okay it's not ego it's confidence all right oh a lot of cards came father what do you have to tell divine masculine today what's your situation divine masculine situation today is temptation did not tell you ha! i keep saying this okay because i keep seeing this there's gonna be a karmic that tries to tempt you into falling back into old ways do not be tempted by sexual invitations especially if this person tries to claim that they're this and they're that and they you know I'm telling you, lies after lies after lies, this person is lying to you. Do not be tempted by alcohol. Do not be tempted by drugs because that's going to distort your view of you. It's going to take you away from all the progress that you've been making, okay? And I'm telling you, somebody has this sexual energy that they're trying to like, you know, temptation is there. That's the devil card, okay? Seriously. That's what I told you. I'm seeing this karmic energy. I do not like tapping into karmic energy. Y'all know how icky that stuff can get. So, yeah, somebody is really, really being sneaky, here trying to say stuff about you look and your action is to stand in your power divine masculine bam i can't make this up oh my gosh i'm just getting chills from this okay thank you father i knew he was gonna come direct with you today because everything i just keep saying i just keep repeating the same thing divine masculine it's time to step into your power it's time for you to boss up as i said your action is to boss up and stand in your authority that means not getting tempted by this any kind of sexual energy, any kind of drugs, alcohol, whatever, whatever. Don't get tempted today. Because this is this person's last attempt to try to keep you around. To say, okay, well, I got a little something I can give you. And then before you know it, they're going to be lying, talking about they're pregnant. And then before you know it, it ain't going to be yours. And then, you know, you're just going to cause more delays. Do not cause more delays, Divine Masculine. Stand in your power, stand in your strength. What's the outcome here? Fulfillment of wishes if you could just resist temptation. You get everything that you wish for, all the happiness that you want, if you would just resist temptation. Remember, y'all saw that in the channel messages. We got the uh, strength card as well, spiritual strength. Okay, this is all to resist temptation, okay? This is all for spiritual strength. This is all about you walking away from a situation that just doesn't serve you anymore. You're one foot out the door. You're ready for this new beginning with your person. So don't get tempted into staying. Don't get tempted into going back to old ways, drinking, drugs, alcohol. Then before you know it, you're in somebody bed. Look, <laughs> this is a very fair warning <laughs> Father is giving you. Bottom of the deck energy is destiny, okay? This is your fate. This is your destiny. Your fulfillment of wishes is your, your true calling. So step into your power so you can get into your true calling, your fate. And then I'm seeing the number 10. 10, 10 is always about karmic endings. Allow this to end. This is fated to end so that you can get this new beginning. So don't go back on your fate, your destiny, okay? This is the Wheel of Fortune card. Luck is on your side here. You feel like every time you tried to leave this person, that, you know, they would pull you back in. And they would pull you back in somehow. They would use the kids. They would use the money. They would use um, all types of things. They would use your family against you and all types of things, okay? I'm just seeing it. So now is the time. Now is the lucky time for you to go <laughs> and get on out of here, okay? Get out, Father's saying, get out, okay? And you might be having a lot of dreams about your person lately, and that's your ancestors encouraging you that you can get the things that you wish for. Get out. What is the dreams, Father? What do you have for Divine Masculine and his dreams? Dances on one foot, the balancing act. There's a lot of things going on in your life. Nines, there are a lot of nines here. Nine, nine. And the, uh, the channel messages, the nine was the strength card, okay? So it's, it's all about you just endings <laughs> once you go from one to nine you go back to zero we're starting all over again but this time in a better way in a very balanced way dances on one foot you might have a lot of priorities right now but with that being said those are kind of clouding your judgment and your dreams but i'm also seeing that you're still dreaming about a lot of beautiful times with your person here too i don't know why i'm seeing that i'm seeing that you're looking at your future here in your dreams, Divine Masculine. You're dreaming of your person. I don't know why I just heard late at night when all the world is sleeping. I stay up and think of you. So yeah, dream state. You might not even be sleeping very well. Um, Cause he says, she says, that's Selena. She goes, and I wish on a star that someone are thinking of me too. 
And your person is. Your divine feminine is dreaming about you too. If not, then they're in the dream state as well. Up all night, can't sleep, but still having visions of love. I can't make this up. Thank you, Father. What would you like to tell your divine feminine today? The high priestess, I'm tapping into my intuition and it's allowing me to see my truth. It's allowing you to see who you truly are. You're tapping into your intuition. You might be seeing the number 111 a lot. That's intuitive, okay? That's very much so you tapping into your intuition. And as I said, who are you to you? <laughs> You're starting to see yourself. Don't get tempted into going back to old self. That's not you. That's not the person who you ever wanted to even be, okay? And I say that because I keep saying tap into your intuition. Trust your intuition. Trust what you're seeing in your dreams. Even if it's you fear-based dreams that you're getting out of your system because I'm just seeing that you're having visions of so much love and pleasantries here, okay? So that's what I have for you, Divine Masculine. Five, five, five on a timer as I finish and wrap this up. Thank you, Father. There are positive changes happening around you. It might feel like tower moments, test at the test at the test. And you're like, but Father, why? That's because he's testing your balance. Are you going to continue to remain balanced? And he's testing your spiritual strength, okay? So you might be seeing all those angel numbers. It's, it's a reason why you're, <laughs> you're walking into a new beginning, okay? That's what I have for you, Divine Masculine. Let's go to Divine Feminine. Thank you so much for your time.